Taurus, what's up? How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. I'm so thankful that you're here with me. Um, we're going to be seeing what messages need to come through for you for the month of April 2023. See what's going on, what you can expect, what you can look forward to, and what spirit wants you to know slash be aware of. If this reading helps resonates, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. It definitely helps me get these messages out there to other Torians. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info's in the description box. And also, I just want to wish you guys a happy early birthday. Shout out to my April tournaments. Happy early birthday to you guys. Um, treat yourself, celebrate yourself, have a pre-birthday celebration, even though we're in airy season, it's just started, but hey. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into this. Let's see what's going on for you, what spirit wants you to know or be aware of for, you know, this month ahead. What's going on for Taurus, Summer Nising Venus, for the month of April 2023? What's going on for Taurus? Show me clearly. Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Taurus in April? Okay, we have the rabbit. Damn. What are you so afraid of, Taurus? Okay, because the rabbit comes out when you're feeling nervous, when you're feeling stressed or anxious or restless, or there's something that's on your mind. You just can't seem to get it out of your mind. Um, I'm not going to take that. That's a big stack. I'm not taking that. But okay, what's going on for Taurus? The scorpion. Yeah, there's something you're ruminating about. There's something that's like occupying your mind. You just can't seem to get your mind off of this, this thing, this person, a situation, thing, thing from your past, the snake. This is something about a cycle here. It's about shedding old skin. But yeah, peacock underneath that, the bat, not surprised, swan. You're in this deep reflective mode about past experiences that have shaped you in like shaped you to your core okay dragon this is representing of like this deep path this long journey that you've been on okay spirit energy coming out like maybe you're looking back at like a start of this this journey that you've been on your spiritual awakening here anyways there's like a deep reflection taking place with the swan you're like thinking long and hard you might be spending a lot of time alone or you would maybe you might kind of um this week ahead you might be more like isolated or you might be more um like introverted or just kind of keeping to yourself or kind of a, a just like observing you're in this observation mode where you're just like <sighs> looking back at some things comparing it to where you're at now comparing it to what you're going through at the moment you might be noticing that there's like a familiar pattern or a familiar cycle that you keep running into or you keep experiencing or there's some sort of like similarity or this the similar vibe you keep experiencing or feeling or reflecting on or it, there's something that's popping up over and over and you're like why where is this coming from and like you are kind of struggling with seeing the forest from the trees because you're right in the thick of it okay so you might be feeling more sensitive you might be feeling more agitated you might be feeling a little bit more on on guard on edge there's a little bit of edginess coming from you there's like a bit of like i don't know like a paranoia kind of vibe like you're feeling a bit paranoid or something has your your guard up or your defense up you're like you're trying to keep yourself safe or you're trying to protect yourself um maybe you're trying to protect your ideas or protect some sort of emotion you're like you're guarding something like i just think of um the snake the garter snake the garter snake is that was that what's name the garter garter snakes pretty sure pretty sure yeah yeah it's like you're trying to guard something or maybe you're trying to guard your emotions or prevent yourself from being vulnerable or like saying too much okay wow starting off strong let's get into this taurus let's see what's happening what's going on for you in april 2023 what's going on for taurus summarizing venus in the month of april show me clearly any insight with some guidance for taurus What's going on for Taurus? Show me clearly for the month of April. What do my Taurians need to know or be aware of? What are the messages? Okay, Seven of Wands. What did I tell you? You're on the defense. You're feeling like you're on the need to like protect yourself or uh, like maybe protect yourself or protect someone. Like there's like this vibe where you're feeling on the defense or you're feeling on high alert or like, you know, uh, like security system is going off. 
motion detector lights going off like you know you're being super aware hyper aware there's like this hypersensitivity maybe you're feeling like overstimulated what's going on for okay all right five of wands so there's some drama there's some conflict there's tension in the air this could be representing inner conflict this could be representing conflict in your surroundings in relationships maybe you're directly involved maybe you're not but this is just like totally fuel to the fire this is some intense stuff maybe you're trying if this is about your work or career it's like you're trying to stand out from the crowd or you're trying to like there's a lot of competition too and it's hard to stand out or hard to like maybe you're just dealing with like struggling with getting something off the ground or being heard or being seen or recognized what's going on for taurus in april 2023 messages for taurus chariot so there's movement there's progress so although you're experiencing like some challenges or obstacles, there's definitely obstacles getting in the way. I do see you overcoming these obstacles with a chariot. Like, so that's good. What What's going on for Taurus in the month of April 2023? Show me clearly messages for Taurus for the month of April. We have the Queen of Swords coming out, Libra Energy. So yeah, it's like you are not going to let these obstacles win you're not going to let these delays these setbacks these fears these people you're not going to let these oppositions get in the way you're you're not you're not there's no fucking way <laughs> excuse my french but you're like there's no way you can't stop this train bitch with the chariot and the queen of swords you're like you're you're like you are set stone on some sort of goal and although it's been frustrating, although it's been a setback, although it's been challenging, it has not been easy, right? You, and it, it doesn't look like it's super easy this month for you I, I, regarding something. Okay, we need to clarify exactly because I don't know what the fuck. Like, this could be about a relationship. This could be about your career. This could be about your own personal goals. It could be a mix. But however this applies, because this is super general at the moment, um, there's a lot of like challenges setbacks and just like obstacles like you're trying to <laughs> you're running against like obstacles like it's an obstacle course and it's just making me think of that show wipeout <laughs> so you know but you're determined you're like i'm not going to quit i'm not going to give up i'm not a quitter this is what something i want i want i'm determined and i don't care if i fall a hundred times i'm going to fucking make this happen oh my gosh and i'm like saying fuck all the time like shh, shh. <laughs> oh my gosh anyways it doesn't matter i don't really care but there's some karens out there there used to be back in the old days we have a lot of people you're dealing with page of wands king of swords queen of pentacles king of wands queen of swords like we got a whole smack load of people also the empress okay so there's like a lot of opinions a lot of talking a lot of mouths to feed is also what I just heard. Lots of mouths to feed. So people might be making certain demands or on you or yeah, people are making demands on you, Taurus, like just coming up to you, assuming things or expecting you to fulfill their needs, expecting you to just drop whatever it is that you're doing to help them or give them what they want or to entertain them or you know assist them there's a lot of demand you're in high demand and you need to raise your prices mm-hmm yeah you're in high demand Taurus you need to raise your freaking prices and that might be literal maybe there's a lot of competition in like get the work that you do maybe you're needing to raise your prices like straight up with like the work that you do if you run your own business maybe you sell yourself short or you undersell yourself if you, especially if you run your own business and you offer certain um certain skills or um i don't know what the fuck I can't, the word's not coming to me but things that you offer you might be underselling yourself that might literally be the case either that or it's like you are just needing to like really raise your boundaries and like yeah it's just like you're expensive 
and only those who can afford you should be you know <laughs> i'm just saying I'm just saying it's like, it's like a, I just feel like there's this vibe where people are just making all these demands and requests and you're like you're only one person and there's like all these different people squawking at you and it's stressing you out you're like I need some space I need some peace I need some quiet meanwhile I'm going through my own crap I'm going through my own stuff I'm trying to do some healing releasing reflecting I'm dealing with my own things and meanwhile there's all these voices that aren't even mine yapping at me telling me what i should do what i should be do, where i should go what i should wear what i should say what i shouldn't should i like oh my god leave me alone so you're trying to guard your energy it's like you gotta guard your space guard your <sighs> something here anyways it's kind of like when we look at the chariot to the queen of swords it's this is like a man with a stop sign you know you're in traffic or there's construction there's like a construction zone you're driving and then there's like the person with the stop sign and they're like you have to stop you can't let you're you're at border control right do you have the right um information do you have the passport do you have the files to be allowed and accepted into this this new country this <laughs> you know it's like someone's going through tsa Maybe you're going, maybe you're traveling. This is, could be for someone like you could be traveling. Maybe you're being stopped. Holy shit, my dog going fucking crazy in the background. My God. Maybe someone like if you're traveling, you might, maybe there's a bit of a setback or a bit of a delay. Like you gotta, they pull you over because they think something's in your bag. <laughs> That's so specific. And girl, what the hell is going on? Like my, my dog's going crazy, losing her mind. Anyways, I'm getting so sidetracked. Okay. So we have the page of wands. Page of wands to me normally is symbol sim symbolizes symbolic of like good news or some sort of positivity, feeling excited, feeling inspired, feeling driven, motivated, like things are going good. All right, so this is a nice shift of energy, okay, from this kind of chaotic, overwhelmed, stressed out obstacles to like no i'm not i'm not going to let that happen i'm going to use my discernment i'm going to set my boundaries this is my price if you can pay for it awesome if you, it's too much then you got to find somewhere else to go oh it's too pricey it's too expensive then go somewhere else there's dollar tree there's dollarama <laughs> like go to the dollar store because bitch you can't afford me then that's on you that's not my problem i don't want to hear it <laughs> Right, King of Swords. I don't want to hear it. I'm, I'm not messing around. I'm not wasting my time protecting myself, my space. You're very serious, but yet, like, you're serious, but yet you have, like, a lighthearted vibe about it. Like, you're not being a dick about it. You're not being an asshole. You're not being rude or, like, egotistical. It's just, like, you know your worth. That's the most important thing. You know your freaking worth. And some people are challenging that. Some people are challenging that. Um, especially if this is kind of, like, new for you to be standing in your in your power and your strength uh, especially if you're like you're a people people pleaser or you know an ex people pleaser um anyways we have the queen of pentacles and the king of wands I, this is really positive stuff towards like your career your money your studies your passions definitely seeing good progress being made there there's also a lot of support there on your dreams and on your intentions for your future and what you want to grow what you wish to have more of i'm definitely seeing lots of progress being made about that um, your ideas are solid, your plans are solid, and, you know, just taking the extra step, going the extra mile, and really just staying committed to what you want, staying committed to your goals, and not letting any setback or challenge or delay, like, be the reason why you quit. I'm not seeing you quit at all, actually, in April. I see you just so freaking determined, and just getting really clear, narrowing down on what it is that you want, and it's just that's awesome but yeah there's just like a lot of people that are like making demands and not all of it's negative nah not for sure like there's a lot of positivity there's a lot of good stuff around you there's a lot of good people around you too who want to see you win who want to see you succeed but it's just like you got to use your discernment to figure out you know just know your prices and those who can afford they won't have a problem with it those who can't well they're going to be the ones who complain or be like i'm gonna leave a bad review it's like why because you can't afford to be around me or you can't afford my product what i have to offer that's a you problem <laughs> you know so anyways you're in high demand so raise your freaking prices i'm gonna literally title your reading that i hope it stays in my brain because i'd be forgetting 
sometimes after I'm done reading something, I don't even remember what the hell I talked about. Like, <laughs> it's a struggle sometimes. But anyways, that's that's how it be. All right, so um, I'm gonna do just a little bit of clarifying with the chariot. the queen of swords talk about the chariot and the queen of swords not this combination queen of swords and the chariot for taurus you could be dealing with the cancer we also have taurus libra energy aquarius capricorn sagittarius so just let me know the main zodiacs lots of fire in this reading you're feeling that aries energy we got a lot of aries um vibes this month talk about the queen of swords and the chariot justice and libra there we have it which we have the full moon and libra on the seventh six seventh i literally just looked at it in the previous reading i don't even remember okay we have the lovers justice the lovers okay some of you guys could be getting into a serious partnership or a serious relationship we do have the nine of wands reversed or you might be exiting of relationship for some of y'all three of pentacles reverse especially if it's not working and you've been fighting for something that's just not positive or it's been really stressing you out nine of swords five of wands ace of swords you're like yo this is the problem what's underneath the ace of swords i can't even seven of wands wow just a bunch of double confirmation in this freaking reading you've been trying so hard to like keep it together keep your composure to not give up to not quit that you've been investing putting so much effort into something and um again just like lots of obstacles and challenges one thing after another after another and it's just been a lot it's been very stressful and overwhelming for you and there's also just been a lot of unnecessary drama or bs or fighting or um expectations obligations responsibilities and just like other people's crap that just is somehow dumped into your lap and now you gotta figure out how to find a solution or you know take out the problem and just like dude <laughs> anyways ace of swords i'm seeing you are removing the problem or like again whatever it is that's been really stressing overwhelming you that's been just like negatively been affecting you or making things a lot more difficult than needs to anyways with the ace of swords you are clearing that out or you're you're letting some things go again this might be around the the full moon libra um but you might not even be listening to this reading then. You might discover this reading like later on or like weeks later. But anyways, Full Moon and Libra is going to help you bring into balance these relationships, these partnerships here with the lovers, your commitments. It's going to bring things into balance. Or the relationships that are solid, the relationships that are good for you, those are going to continue to ascend and rise with you. And the people slash relationships, situations, environments, things that are just not in alignment with you, that will fall short or like that is going to kind of fade out of your life. So this full moon in Libra next week, or oh, sorry, this video will be up on Tuesday. If I'm, if I'm, according to my schedule, if I'm correct, this should be up Tuesday. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna put this up Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, so the full moon will literally be tomorrow. Tomorrow, Thursday, Wednesday. Wednesday is the full moon. It doesn't fucking matter. Anyways, so you might be feeling this vibe already or you're starting to witness it play out or you're starting to see it kind of unfold so you're taking a good look at your relationships and your partnerships and you're like hmm keeping your eyes peeled right you know what's working what isn't and whatever isn't working it's gotta go see ya there's the door so with that queen of swords you're not afraid to take that blade and cut some things out of your life Okay, let me look into the Empress and then we'll wrap up this reading. Oh, the Empress for Taurus. Like, you're gonna flourish, Taurus. You are looking just gorgeous inside and out. You, like, you are on this beautiful wave. And what the? Oh, there we go. It fell on my lap. Two of Wands reverse. You might have a choice to make. Um, you are on this beautiful wave where you are just thriving and you don't need anything holding you back, you're getting in the way. Or trying to block your blessings you know anyway it's time the empress for taurus in april two of cups i see a beautiful partnership coming in um or if you're connecting with someone at the moment this is a gorgeous connection if you are single 
um, whether you're looking or not, you may just come into connection with someone and it's a beautiful partnership. This could also be friendship too. It doesn't have to be romance, but this is someone who just understands you. Someone who's on the same freaking wavelength. Someone who's very confident. Someone who's very grounded, independent. If you are heading into a relationship, I do see you are going to be very independent, but yet you guys come together and it's just like power team. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Hermit. This is a very single energy. Like you've been keeping to yourself or maybe you've just been kind of single for a while. Um, just bettering yourself, making improvements, investing in yourself, especially getting your finances and your health in order. Um, just been kind of like a lone wolf for a moment. And I see that there's someone, whoever you're connecting with, they probably have gone through a similar journey. Someone who's probably been um, kind of alone themselves for a while, have gone through similar experiences. And they themselves are an empress as well. So you guys are you guys are mirroring each other. Someone that you're connecting with or about to come into connection with, they are like a true pair. Um, they're embodying like the same energy as you, like Empress Emperor vibes. Okay, it's like you guys are on the same page, have gone through your own like spiritual journey, spiritual awakening, and you, you know, you guys are like attracting each other. So, like, there's this vibe where you and your soulmate are like calling each other in, and April may just be the month where you guys come into union. All right anything else the oh okay the world and temperance yeah there's like you've done the healing you've done the work queen of swords again at the bottom double confirmation we have the sun the knight of pentacles and the and the fool okay so yeah it's like you've been on this journey for quite some time all right going back to let me get it the dragon representing this journey this spiritual quest that you've been on for months years like a long freaking time anyways you've been patient you haven't been in the rush you haven't been trying to like speed up or get to the end of the cycle you just kind of took it one day at a time one step at a time and oh my god april is the freaking month where that that is finalized this is over slash there's something brand new beginning it's you're in the early stages so again queen of swords double confirmation you've done a lot of work you've gotten really strong with your boundaries very firm with what you want you know you're setting your prices and you're happy about that you're happy about yourself you're happy about where you're at you're happy about where you're going and the steps that you're taking knight of pentacles about where you're you know you like you're just pleased with what you're seen you're pleased with the results and you're moving at a nice slow steady pace again not in any rush you are not in any rush and if anybody's trying to like pressure you or trying to rush you you're like get out like you know you cannot rush a masterpiece right if you're working on art you cannot i've witnessed this my own freaking self because i paint um if you rush art if you try to rush the process it looks like shit you cannot rush art right this is an art and you can't rush it and if people are trying to pressure you or trying to rush you and be like hurry up it's like they don't get it they never will get it and they need to get out of the picture anyways the fool you have some sort of new start beginning Ooh, this is a great change here underneath that death yeah this is a very transformative month for you and very transformative beginning um that's beginning this month and this might be tying into some sort of connection or partnership but anyways okay taurus we're gonna leave your reading here raise your freaking prices your demand is insane and you need to raise your prices because there's only so much supply right there's only so much of you and there's a whole lot of them out there so be choosy be picky <laughs> uh yeah okay so i'm gonna leave your reading here i hope this was helpful and insightful if it was let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe i'm gonna let you guys go thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one bye